Little girls dream about wearing it. Some women won't step out of the house without it. Makeup has been around for thousands of years, but the wrong makeup can hurt you. And Lelila Strogoff tells us it's not just what you use, but how you use it. Go on, go on, leave me breathless. <laughs> Sorority girls putting on makeup and getting ready for a night out. Did you know that you can get herpes or even staff for makeup? No. 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 How do we get that? There are lots of things women don't know about makeup. This woman got herpes from using a friend's lip gloss. It's just devastating because I can't kiss my children at certain times. Dr. Simon Orian. I don't care whose makeup it is, do not use it. Just your own makeup. It's very personal, kind of like a toothbrush. You don't share it, you don't get any kind of disease from it. Dermatologists say most people don't take that risk seriously enough and also don't pay enough attention to makeup ingredients. The most common problem Dr. Christine Ibrahim sees is oily makeup that blocks pores and causes skin to break out. Most of my patients, the history that I'm getting is within three to six months. They start breaking out. She recommends medical grade oil free makeup like this that has some serious scientific research behind it. I'm pushing forward medical grade products because there's clinical studies, there's all kinds of testing that goes on before it actually gets on the shelf. It was just always very difficult to find something that I'd be happy with. And I really wasn't happy until I tried this. Even worse than breakouts, the potential long-term effects of hazardous chemicals in some makeup. There are a whole host of unsafe chemicals in the cosmetics and personal care products we use every day. The cosmetic industry has restricted some chemicals like ethylene oxide and 1,4-dioxane. But there's little enforcement even by the FDA. Manufacturers are left to decide what ingredients to put in their products and how much. And researchers say some makeup products have chemicals suspected of causing everything from cancer to reproductive damage to neurological problems. The danger is, is pretty huge. According to the Campaign for Safe Cosmetics, one study showed a third of the lipsticks they bought and tested at random tested positive for lead. The argument that the cosmetic companies have is that, well, you're not going to swallow this like a candy bar. True, but if you keep licking your lips a few times a day and you're going to keep applying the lipstick a few times a day, you are going to get some lead in your system. The FDA is investigating those claims but says so far no definitive studies show harmful effects. Bobby Joy, a makeup artist in Beverly Hills, says she'll only use cosmetics that are toxin free. A website she recommends, CosmeticsDatabase.com, rates everyday cosmetics from low hazard to high. Joy says once people can trust the science of their makeup, they can focus on the art of looking good. Using good quality makeup is very, very important. I'll definitely be more careful. Be more aware of the makeup that I buy and what's actually in it. You know what we're actually putting in our bodies if you can. In Los Angeles, Lila Strogoff, Fox 11 News. Go on.